Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to another one of my videos I'm putting on both YouTube and Vimu. And today I thought about doing a comparison between both Google Doc and Office Live. As you guys can see, I'm actually starting off with Google Docs. So pretty much I'll go ahead and log into Google and then from there go to Google Docs. So I'm going to start off by going to the presentation software, which is very, very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint but with a few less features. So I'll pretty much create a new slide here. Type it in, of course, test presentation. And of course, I can go ahead and edit it like I would any other slide. I can also choose different themes for different individual slides like I would in PowerPoint. As you can see, I chose one to do a slide side to side. So I now have a slide it slide in here. Can't give it a title, but I'm like, okay, that's a little bit much. So now I'm playing with the insert features. And one feature that they finally fixed is the ability to actually add video from the YouTube and Google sites. So as the thing loads up, we'll look at some of the different videos that have on Google. And it's quite a few. But today I really don't feel like adding a video, so I'll just scroll through this and then close this out. Definite thing to go for insert is actually add an image. You either get one from your hard drive or from the browse and select an image from your hard drive or type in your own to see what image you can find. And you can actually add all the shapes in here like you're in Word or any other office, Microsoft Office program. And of course, you can view it through your web browser. Click the slide and then click in it and even share it with a link that will provide to you on the right hand side. I'm sorry for the low resolution on this video, but I had a little I had a few problems trying to convert the video over, so that's why that takes a little bit off. But as you can see, what advanced Google Docs or anything else you would do online that you have a whole list of your apps, you even go back to your older apps and edit them. You guys went back to the old word that I had on here. For the event we did with Nez a few years ago, and as you can see, I can just go in here and edit it like a World War document in Microsoft Word. You all see that the drop down menu is very, very simple to see it all. There's even an Excel like program to let you do your spreadsheets you can see right here. Go to the select new and pick spreadsheet. So now I'm starting creating a new spreadsheet. Now you can create new and go to form to kind of give yourself a, a some sort of online survey program. And this is much you can do to see who likes your website, your statistics, and therefore improve your site or your business, wherever you want to work with. Or your business. It also is pretty good. Okay, so at this point, I'll end my little bit of, sorry about my problem presentation about Google Docs and go into Office Live. Okay, without further ado, I'll go ahead and try to log into Office Live from my Linux web browser, which of course will be Firefox, and I am using the Ubuntu version of Firefox, let's see if it'll let me in. But of course, trying to get to a Microsoft website with a Linux based web browser without any alterations like trying to beat Key Cool for the first time you play the first few Mario Bros. But let me try it anyway. Okay, so I'm finally at the Microsoft Office Live website and I notice that they have web versions for all the applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and even OneNote. And there's also things in here known as SkyDrive, which may or may not be a copycat of G Drive, but chances are it probably is a copycat of G Drive. So at this point, I'll try to log in with my regular Office Live account that I set for my Windows machine and see if it lets me in. Hopefully it will, but if it doesn't, there'll hopefully be some other ways for me to get in. Okay, so I'll try that now.
Okay, unfortunately that didn't go very well. But fortunately I do have another trick up my sleeve. And I guess if the Linux version of Firefox is Mario, I can make the Windows version of Firefox Link from Zelda. That makes it easy to And I said another trick up my sleeve I do, which would be known as Wine. Which pretty much means I can just install the Windows version of Firefox onto my Linux machine and see if that works. So yeah, I just said it. I am actually went ahead and installed the Windows version of Firefox to my Linux machine just to make this work through Wine. And we can probably get by, through this a little bit further along. So without further ado, let's try to go through this one more time. Let's go to the same rigmarole we did before by trying to log in and see what happens. Okay, I know it's a for the last time I logged in the machine, and sometimes that will give you errors in Office Live, especially trying to run through a <clears throat> Wine browser, so I'll go ahead and log out first, and then type in my credentials again, to make sure I won't have too many problems trying to get into the system, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, unfortunately that didn't work either. For some reason, I try to log in on my Linux box through this version of Firefox. It's now saying I don't even have an account created. So for some strange reason, when I go through this way, it no longer sees my account that I created on my Windows machine. Even though I had it up and running a while ago, a few hours ago. So once again, I look, I've tried yet another technique. So right now I'm going to go ahead and exit out and retry. And hopefully this time I can finally get this thing to work properly. 